Greetings fellow explorers, it is I, Phantom A, back with yet another Blood Fables community choice. This time around, I asked you to vote on your favorite leaf attacking skill. Just a quick announcement though, I want to do a poll in the future on your favorite Blood Fables chapter, but community polls only allow a max of 5 choices. So in the comment section of this video, I'm going to post a comment that's going to be pinned. Just read the comment and do what it says to make your vote on your favorite chapter, and we'll go from there. Now, unlike Kabu and V, there's only three to choose from. But of course, at the end of the day, there can only be one number one. So, let's see what you voted for. In third place, with 5% of the votes, is Icefall. Leaf throws a lone icicle at the enemy that explodes and potentially can freeze the enemy solid for one turn. Now, despite being last place, I don't think anyone really thinks this is a bad move. After all, it has decent power, has good range for only being able to hit one time. And even late game, it can be optimal for some fights like in the Cave of Trials. Like, by no means is Icefall a bad move. It also being Leaf's starting skill means there's plenty of chances for this move to be useful. After all, it's an AoE skill that can target foes in the air. Even after learning Fresh and Cop in and Dash through on Kabu's side, you likely are still going to find plenty of usage in this one attack. I do agree with this move being last place though, but only because Ice Rain and Frigid Coffin are significantly more abusable. And speaking of which, let's move on to the next one. In second place, with 44% of the votes, is Leaf's Ice Rain. Leaf drops 4 separate icicles with their own chance to freeze on the enemy team. The damage is consistent the entire attack. Now some people are intimidated by the high TP cost. After all, I know I was when I first played the game. But when you look past the TP cost, this is quite possibly the most powerful move in the entire game. But to that claim, I had to put an asterisk, because Ice Rain is only really as potent as it can get when you heap lots and lots of attack up meadows and charge up statuses on Leaf, so that Leaf's Ice Rain hits like hailstones. And I imagine this is why Ice Rain has to beaten Frigid Coffin in the polls. Whereas Frigid Coffin is already stronger than Ice Ball and has immediate payoff, Ice Rain takes a fair bit of setup to make it worth its TP cost and then some. Though unless you're in a post-game fight, or something like say the Deadlander's Ambush or Tangy Bug, Ice Rain very well can be seen as overkill more often than not. There are some genuine situations though where this move is better than say V's Hurricane Toss, mainly due to the fact that this move can actually hit multiple targets at once, not just one target at a time. But one scenario where you absolutely have to account for Ice Rain being useful are against boss fights and bounties. With proper setup, bosses will be reduced to rubble. And the high TP cost tends to matter less, because you don't really need that much TP max to use this move as much as you have to win. It really helps that in a recent patch, Ice Rain's TP cost was reduced from 13 to 11. I kid you not, this move used to cost more. Overall, Ice Rain is nuclear in how much power it has to offer. Though beyond the TP cost, it does have one more drawback. As for how big this drawback is, depends on your skill level. Speaking for myself, depending on freezes for bosses really is not a good sign. And I instead encourage people to find consistent methods of winning fights instead of relying on luck all the time. However, the fact that each individual hit of Ice Rain can freeze a target solid does mean in the future for the same fight, you wouldn't be able to rely on Frigid Coffin for bosses that can be frozen for that extra buffer. Though quite frankly, Ice Rain is so incredibly powerful, a boss should not be able to survive after being hit by it if you're playing with it properly. It can be seen as a legitimate drawback for Tough Bugs runs though. In any case, let's move on to your number one pick. In first place, with 51% of the votes, is Leaf's Frigid Coffin skill. Targeting a single enemy, Leaf can freeze them solid with a good chance to freeze for two turns. This move also has two additional attack power over his basic attack. Frigid Coffin is a very popular move to use in many battles. And honestly, it's for good reason. Frigid Coffin is basically Kabu's heavy strike, except that has the potential to freeze enemies solid for two turns, giving you plenty of chance to set up your stats for later. Free turns can mean a lot in RPGs like this, and the fact that the damage output is so meaty on this move only sweetens the deal. You really have no reason not to go for this move if you have to TP for it, which isn't hard when the TP cost is a measly 3. If you get the freeze, it's a chance to set up your stats, like get some extra HP in your bugs or increase your attack power. And if you don't freeze, well it's not really a big deal, because Leaf still hits a lot harder. If there were any real drawbacks to this move, it's just that people rely on it very often to the point where they depend on the move actually freezing to make any progress going forward in the fights. But that's not necessarily this move's fault. 
There's really nothing else for me to add. Fusion Coffin is a move that is so good that players actively depend on it just to make any progress in a fight. Does this move deserve to be number one though? Well, that's what I let you decide. And you said yes. And you know what? That's good enough for me. Until next time, thank you for watching.